Welcome to the unexpected arrival of quantum computing. Finance, like life, is riddled with uncertainty. We try to predict, to model, to quantify risk, but the unexpected happens. These are our black swans. Enter quantum computing, a technology as baffling and unpredictable as the markets it seeks to tame. Quantum computing harnesses the strangeness of quantum mechanics. It uses qubits, not bits. Qubits exist in multiple states at once, a concept called superposition. Imagine a coin spinning, not yet landed heads or tails. That's a qubit. This allows for exponentially faster computations. Traditional computers crunch numbers linearly. Quantum computers explore many possibilities simultaneously. This is mind-boggling, like calculating all possible market scenarios at once. But hold on, before we declare victory, remember the black swan. Quantum computing is powerful, yes, but with great power comes the potential for equally great unforeseen consequences. The future is not about eliminating uncertainty, it's about understanding and navigating it, even when amplified by quantum leaps in technology. In our second chapter on unpredictability amplified, we delve into quantum's effect on risk models. Risk management is the art of preparing for the unknown. We build models, assess probabilities, and hedge our bets. Yet, true black swan events, those unpredictable and high impact occurrences, expose the fragility of these models. Quantum computing enters this arena with the potential to both enhance and disrupt. Its computational prowess could lead to more sophisticated risk models. Imagine analyzing every possible market variable, stress testing against an infinite array of scenarios. This could lead to more robust risk assessments, right? Not so fast. Quantum computing may also amplify the unknown unknowns. More complex models fueled by more data could create a false sense of security. Remember the map is not the territory. A deeper understanding of risk is not the same as eliminating it. In fact, it might just reveal how much we still don't know. In our final exploration, we focus on portfolio optimization and finding the quantum edge. In the financial jungle, everyone seeks an edge. Portfolio optimization, the art of maximizing returns while minimizing risks, is a constant pursuit. Could quantum computing be the game changer? Theoretically, yes. Quantum algorithms could analyze vast data sets of assets, identifying hidden correlations and optimizing portfolios in real time. Imagine a portfolio that adapts instantly to market fluctuations, always one step ahead. This sounds like a dream for any investor, but remember, no model is perfect. Quantum computing may find patterns we missed, but it can also be fooled by noise. The market is not a closed system. It's influenced by human behavior, news cycles, and even the weather. These factors remain difficult to predict, even with the most powerful computers. Quantum computing might give us a sharper lens, but it can't eliminate the blind spots. Fraud, like a virus, constantly evolves. As quickly as we build defenses, fraudsters find new ways to exploit vulnerabilities. Quantum computing, with its ability to analyze vast datasets and detect anomalies, offers a glimmer of hope. Imagine a system that analyzes every transaction in real time, flagging suspicious activities with unparalleled accuracy. This could be a game changer in the fight against financial crime. However, we must be cautious. The same power that allows us to detect fraud can be used by malicious actors to develop even more sophisticated scams. It's a technological arms race. Quantum computing might give us a temporary advantage, but it's unlikely to be a permanent solution. The fight against fraud will continue with or without quantum. Quantum computing is not a magic wand. It's a powerful tool, yes, but one with limitations. We must approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism, remembering the lessons of the black swan. One major challenge is scalability. Building and maintaining stable quantum computers is incredibly complex and expensive. The technology is still in its infancy. Another limitation is data. Quantum computers are data-hungry beasts. Feeding them the massive data sets required for complex financial models is a challenge. And let's not forget the human element. Financial markets are not solely driven by logic and algorithms. Emotions, biases, and unpredictable events play a significant role. Quantum computing can't eliminate these factors. So, what does the future hold for quantum computing and finance? The answer, like the markets themselves, is uncertain. 
We stand on the precipice of a new era. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize how we model risk, optimize portfolios, and combat fraud. But it's not a silver bullet. We must be mindful of its limitations, the potential for unintended consequences, and the ever-present possibility of black swan events. The key is not to fear uncertainty, but to embrace it. Quantum computing is not about predicting the future. It's about navigating it with open eyes and a healthy dose of skepticism. The future of finance is not preordained. It's ours to shape, one quantum leap at a time.